Hello and welcome to Saturday Night Football. I'm Dennis Cometti. Before getting on the plane to come here, I told the ticket lady, send one of my bags to Melbourne, one to Sydney and one to Brisbane. She said she couldn't do that. I'm not sure why she didn't understand because as I told her, the airline did it for me last And away we go, and a wonderful bounce by the umpire. Ryder hands the ball straight to his opponent. What was he thinking? Superb handball. Picture perfect drop punt. Takes that one strongly. That drop punt works well for Rockcliffe. That's not there. Goes for distance. A great effort. Martin puts it on the boot. Marked by Hunt. He lays off the pass. Jams it on the boot. Drops the mark, and the crummers are waiting. Cleary kicks it forward. The mark by Jonas. Gets boot to Leather. He but the better man there. Played on. Has it now. Gets boot to High. And the mark will be paid. Rich really wears his heart on his sleeve. He takes a strong mark. Wingard plays on with it. He handballs it. Polek kicks it. Dixon marks the ball. Lining it up with the goal now. Dixon takes a shot. The goal put the power. All is in readiness. Bounce is dead straight. Punched by Ryder. Ebert kicks it out of congestion. Trenger looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Well, you've kicked a few in your time. Do you give him much of a chance from here, Richard? I reckon the distance might be too much from here, Dennis. Carl Pepper closes him down. Tapped by Rich. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Going for goal number one. The Lions not doing so well at this day. West Hoff is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Ryder is really good at getting up in the Ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Trengove taking aim. Trengove with the shot. The ball's up. Trengove sinks the long kick. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Batted down nicely by Grover. Takes possession. Sends it on its way. He's heading for home. Great shoots. He has space for an easy mark. Brisbane just can't buy a mark out there. They need to start looking for some easier options when moving forward and try and get some marks inside forward 50. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Rydek with the punch. Has it now. Ebert boots it. Well, he gave it a shot. Boots it. Just fell through. That's two in a row for Port Adelaide. The power by five goals. Ryder wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. The Ruckman stings themselves before the bounce. The bounce is straight up and down. Definitely palmed to advantage. Boat slams it on the boot. Lucky bounce collected. Forward momentum. His enemy there as he crossed the line. The Ruckman battle it out. Good fist. Gains possession. Going for goal number one. The power by six goal. The power could just back their pace and skills, and they've been rewarded on the scoreboard. It's been pretty impressive. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Ryder will give you a competitive contest in every hit out, I can assure you of that. But the midfielders are going to have to work really hard to earn the centre clearances off his ruck work. Trengo has a kick straight into the post. Andrews gets set to kick it back in. Well, it could be worse, I suppose, Richard. He just sprayed that one. He should have put more thought into that. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So I tell you, with Adelaide beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 38 to 0. Great mark over the pack. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Pollock might struggle for this distance. Gets boot to Leather. Westhoff slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. With Adelaide by 39. Andrews sticks to himself. 
He kicks and clears the ball out of the 50, and the mark will be played. Hartlett bats the ball for goal. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Hartlett with that kick has increased the lead. Port Adelaide could just really comfortable kicking for goal on the run because it's just an extension of their normal field kicking and they have absolutely no issues there. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. It's tapped down nicely. Boat picks up the ball. The siren will blow any time now. Bell putting down, the holding the ball. Sending it on its way, he wins the contested mark. Rockcliffe boots it. Let's see what the stats have to show. Both teams fairly close in the tackling stats. The power for Brisbane. A quick break and we're back at it. Football doesn't build character, it reveals it. Punch by a grader. Boat made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. ball goes out of bounds it'll be tossed in from the boundary a lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play Martin chooses the third of two options there he receives the handball he's really a ball magnet almost a touch of synchronized swing about that mark Thomas the pill the goal eludes him just wide of the target plays on Andrews gets a less than pretty drop cut away he wants to play on Going for goal number one. Stuck the mitts out and hold on to it. Cranny is out. The ball is hammered towards goal by Dixon with Adelaide by eight goals. He plays on with a little kick. Andrews really got onto that one right off the sweet spot. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Hartlett gives the ball to the man on the run. Nice hands. Perspiring like a putting in a pot as he lines the shot up. Shot by Dixon. Goal to Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide could score the last five goals. Port Adelaide by nine goals. Umpire bounces the ball. The power could have just been really well organized and courageous in the center, and that's why they've been winning the ball. Boat slams the ball to his boot. Boat, he has sunk that from a long way out. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Guided by Martin, Walker made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Handballs out into space. He's heading for home. Hartlick is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. Scoops up the ball. Pumps it inside the 50. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Rich hand passes the ball to the runner going past. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark by Bieber, loves the pass. Zorka just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Westhoff slams one on the boot for goal. Good Adelaide, got a goal. Westhoff really wears his heart on his sleeve. All is in readiness. The bounces straight up and down. Rydick nicely outclassing Martin. Didn't middle that kick, did he, Richard? He might as well have just dropped the ball on the ground, Dennis. Puts the head down as he runs in. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. 25 metres out. This should prove an easy angle for Dixon. With Adelaide lead Brisbane 72 to nothing. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Dishes it off to the running player. Ebert sends the ball on its way. Andrews gets the upper hand. It's no wonder the Lions could fall in behind with a marking count like that. If they don't start getting into the contest and start taking some marks, this game will be lost for them. Magnificent goal. The power leads the Lions. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Ryder with the hit. Gains possession. Hand pass by Boak. Ebert runs in. A chance to add one more to his tally. Sends it home with a mighty kick. He'll be happy with goal number two. All is in readiness. The bounce straight down. Rydek with the punch. Cutler on the ball at the moment. Has it now. Low spearing kick. Nice hands. Beams can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. McStay marks it. He slams that on the boot. Flurry with a strong mark. A short handball. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. The power in front.
The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Reidick really gets onto this one. Taylor is able to grab it on the half volley. Takes possession, gives it to Pollock. The half is almost over. Boak is streaming past and gets the footy. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. Kick to himself. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Scoreboard looks good. Stats look good. Port Adelaide is looking good from all angles. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richo. Finally, the third term begins. If you have everything under control, you're not moving fast enough. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Marks. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick the goal on the side. Dixon puts the ball in the hands of Fate. Kicks it. Takes that one strongly. Zorke puts it. Great mark. Beams covers some ground with that effort. Christensen grabs that one. Boots it. Keys claims the ball. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. And the fans are riding this one hard. The Lions on the scoreboard now. Keys really wears his heart on his sleeve. The bounce. Definitely palmed to advantage. Controlled by Cutler. Finding the running player. Not many possessions for Martin. Gets boot to high. Great mark under pressure. Broadbent puts it on the boot. Wines from behind. Wines can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Westhoff collects it. Good hand skills there. Boat with the kick. Strong mark there. Hartlett lining up with the goals. He chooses to play it on. He almost anticipated just where the pass was going and got there first. He grabs it. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger to return. Trenger going for number three. The power get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Trenger gets number three. Trenger got a really good football in time. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Takes possession. He gathers the loose ball. Boat kicks it out of congestion. And the mark will be paid. He gives the ball away. Penetrating hand pass. The ball bounced favorably for Wingard. He grabs it on the run. Going for goal number one. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Knocks it down in front. Sends it on its way. The ball heads out of bounds. The umpire has thrown it in. Martin wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. The ball is hammered towards... <laughs> the last three goals. Port Adelaide beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 109 to 6. Great mark under pressure. Tringer passes it. The ball is hammered towards goal by Westhoff. Port Adelaide in front. Westhoff will want to try and wheel around onto his favoured foot, but he's still very capable on the other. Pollock with the kick. Carl Pepper from behind. Throwing to the football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Going for goal number one. It's in the air. Perfect kick. Powell Pepe will want to try and wheel around onto his favoured foot, but he's still very capable on the other. Ebert Kuhl under pressure releases in time. Takes control of the bouncing ball. The ball is slammed towards goal by Powell Pepe. The Powell beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 122 to 6. Opportunity for Trenger. He's missed it. But Adelaide in front. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Certainly that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same, awards the free. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Brisbane forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Free is it. 
Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Wingard with the running catch. As Darren Hinch would say, show, show, show. He chooses to play on. Dixon steers the ball towards goal. Interception. As we get into the final break, the scores are Kapala, 124, Brisbane, 6. Both coaches will be anxious, no doubt, to reinforce the importance of the last quarter's performance to their players. If the power can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms... It's almost over now. It's not over when you're losing terribly. It's over when you quit. Ryder gets onto the ball. Martin has the ball. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Sends the Sharon on its way. Even has it. Goes short for the hand pass. Jonas slams it on the boot. Marked by Ford there. Port Adelaide could be dominant in the air and they're marking everything. The Lions need to stop trying to outmark the power and just get a fist into the contest. Dishes it off to the running player. Beams gets him for holding the ball. He slams that on the boot. Rockcliffe claims the ball. Sending it on its way. He claims the ball. Built with the kick. Nice mark under pressure. Kicks. It shouldn't have bothered. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Richo, help me out here. What was he thinking? Ice cream. It's my Next best guess. Flurry has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight tack situations. He's got a hold of that one. Gray with good strong hands. He cuts the ball off. Puts boot to ball. He gets the upper hand. Built might struggle for this distance. A good mark under the circumstances. 35 metres out. Wow, do they need to score. The Lions get a goal just when they needed it most. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. There's the bounce. Martin nicely outclassing Greider. Hand passes. He runs for home. Westhoff hammers the ball for goal. To be generous, you'd say he was just right of the mark with that shot. Hands like dinner plates. He wants to play on. Rich gets a free kick. A desperate kick there. His mistake costs him a possession. Andrews has been violating the golden rule of kindergarten. He's not playing well with others. The Rocks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Great bounce. Port Adelaide could dominating the clearances and really giving their forwards plenty of opportunity. And I think that's why they've got the lead. Westhoff has the ball. He lays off the pass, sending it on its way. Rockcliffe marks it. Sending it on its way, it's a mark. It's a... Great mark under pressure. Brisbane haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He slams that on the boot, close, getting into position for the kick. They really need a goal on the board now. He's missed the goal. The Lions fans will beat the traffic home today. Lobs the handball. Broad bent with the kick. Gray picks up the bouncing ball. Kicks to the attacking 50. Marked by Andrews. Bumps the big skin. And the mark will be paid. The ball is slammed towards goal by Carl Pepper. If this game were being played on water, Port Adelaide would be walking on it. The power has an abundance of quality mids and small forwards, and they are just running rings around the Lions. They aren't worried about playing on because they know they're probably going to get better shots of goal on the run. With the ball now. Roar bent with the mark. He chooses to play on, finding the running player. He but one out in the square. Martin got under it. Gets boot to Leather. Walker claims the ball. Gets boot to Leather. Christensen has it. The Lions haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Martin put his head down. Jeez, poor, poor kicking. He plays it to himself. Clearly, how did you see their performance in today's game? At the end of the match, the scores are Kapow at 137 to the Lions 15. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richard. Thanks, Dennis. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been...